spin me right round, baby, right round, like a record, baby, right round, round, round. <laughs> Good morning, tubers. Matt M. Roy back again. Ooh, feeling a little dizzy after that little intro. Uh, it is 1140 on May 18th of 2017, and I know you haven't seen me for a couple of days. No real reason, just kind of want to take a break. Uh, I've been resting the last few days, haven't had too much to do. Uh, that's not typical these days, but you know what? It's good to uh, kind of wind down just a little bit for a couple of days and recharge your batteries. So what else have I been up to? Well, I wanted to give a shout out to uh, James Wall. She has his own uh, YouTube channel uh, if you want to check him out. Uh, I think James Vlogs is one. I think he has a new channel, too. I'll have to see if I can find that. But he made a comment on one of my videos saying that he'd like to see me do some uh, cooking-related videos. And I am going to try to do that. Um, probably not going to be for a couple of days because right now I'm just going to have some leftovers. Tonight I'm going to have to eat some of that beef stew that I made about a week ago, which I did wind up freezing. Um, that's why I like doing a lot of soups and stews and casseroles. Uh, especially if it's just me here because that's something I can make in bulk one day and uh, I can freeze the majority of it and then just take it out and eat it over the next couple of weeks. So like I've said in previous vlogs, I might uh, eat out one day, next day I'll have my um, beef stew, might eat out the next day and then you know I might make some chicken like last night I did this really good um, marinated uh, chicken breasts, which I know I've showed you guys before, that's why I didn't film it this time, but suffice to say, I just got some of these fresh chicken breasts, I actually got the ones from Food Line in the bag, because they were on sale, they're the organic ones, and these things were really good, and all I do is I um, put them in like a big Ziploc bag, and I put in some Italian dressing and some of the Caesar dressing from uh, Olive Garden, uh, well I should say Italian dressing, but... It is so good. I let it marinate for about two days, and then I throw it in the air fryer, cook it at 400 degrees for about 20 minutes, and de you know, depending on the thickness, and they come out so nice and juicy. And the secret is when you're cooking anything marinated with the air fryer, especially chicken, because chicken has a tendency to uh, dry out, especially the white meat breasts, you want to go ahead and throw all that juice. So basically what I did is not only did I put the chicken in there, I put all of the salad dressing that it was marinating in, but I went and put that in the bottom so when it's cooking, it actually circulates that juice and remarinates and keeps the chicken moist as it's cooking. And that was some of the most flavorful, most tender chicken. I was actually able to cut that chicken with a fork. It was that tender, and I've never had that happen before. Um, if you guys want the exact recipe on how I do it, um, you can go ahead and check out one of my older vlogs. Um, what I'll do is, if you're really interested, go ahead and send me a personal message, and I'll tell you exactly how to do it. But pretty much what I just told you is all I do. Now, you can add some other seasonings. Uh, a friend of mine that does it, he likes to add a little bit of Old Bay or Lowry's for flavoring. Now, I don't think it needs that because, to me, the salad dressing penetrates it and gives it more than enough flavor but play around with the recipe if you guys have an air fryer definitely give it a try it is well worth it you guys will not be disappointed i'm going to turn you around because i want to show you my imac real quick and i will talk to you in a okay, little bit okay tubers so i have been getting tons and tons of comments from all you guys saying how's the imac doing what did you wind up doing with the imac well the reason i haven't done a actual review video yet is i have not actually finished uh one my upgrade with it and two, I have not gotten all the components in that I want. Mainly, I want to get a uh, USB hub, and I ordered one on eBay. It's really, really nice because it's the exact um, same design. It's the alum brushed aluminum, and it's supposed to sit right here. Um, it's not a, a, a Mac-branded one. It's just a generic one, but it got really good reviews. So basically, it's just going to sit here and allow me to hook up uh, USB devices uh, to the front of the computer. I don't know why... Apple has not figured out that people want to be able to hook USB devices into their uh, computers because, as you know, most of you guys know that are Mac enthusiasts, there is no easy access to any USB ports on the front. So I have it sitting here. This is where the Asus um, Core i7 system was. That computer is up for sale now because I have no use for it since I have uh, this computer. Now, 
this is kind of what I decided to do with the keyboard situation. I'm using the Bluetooth keyboard as my main keyboard, but I do also have the USB uh, wired keyboard plugged in just in case, because you know if this wound up dying on me, then I can just move this out of the way and put this keyboard here and start using that. But luckily this thing has such a big keyboard tray, I'm able to have them both here. And of course I'm still using the Apple Magic Mouse here, which again is in really good shape. Um, haven't had to change the batteries in that yet. I gotta figure out how to do that. I haven't even looked that up yet. I know I'm really bad. One thing I'm very impressed with this computer is the EyeSight camera up here. I was testing it out the other day on Skype it is a high definition camera, but I don't believe it's 1080p. I believe it's actually 720p. But I tell you, it's a very, very good quality camera. I'm gonna go into about the Mac. We'll just recap and I'll show you guys the uh, specs on this real quick. Nothing has changed. I haven't done any upgrades to it yet. Still running Mac OS uh, 10 Sierra 10 uh, 12 5. Once again, this is a mid 2011 27 inch iMac with a 3.4 gigahertz Core i7. Still got the same four gigabytes of DDR3, and I am gonna be upgrading that. My buddy Jeff says uh, he might have some memory for me, so I'm at the very least gonna get that up to eight gigabytes in the, in the short term, and then hopefully all the way up to a 16 in the long term. And you can see it is rocking the AM, uh, AMD Radeon HD 6970. So that's pretty much all I have to tell you guys right now about the iMac, because like I said, nothing else has really changed with it. Um, I have made up my mind, though, that I am not going to be putting an SSD in this, because I'm telling you, this computer with the one terabyte Western Digital Caviar Black runs plenty fast for me, uh, as is, even though it's a conventional hard drive. I mean, you can see how fast... A program like Chrome loads up, and I'll just go ahead and uh, put YouTube on there. This thing is really no slouch, and it's going to be even faster once you upgrade the memory. And the, one of the main reasons, I'll be honest with you guys, I don't want to do the SSD in here is I really don't want to have to take this apart because with this particular model, I have to worry about the glass, and I really don't want to have to do that, especially since I've paid uh, $500 for this thing. Worst comes to worst in the future, if I do wind up having to replace the uh, hard drive in here, I may eventually go with an SSD, but that would be many years down the road, hopefully, and um, if I do, then I'll probably enlist the help of a good friend of mine who is a Mac enthusiast and who could definitely help me do this with uh, without damaging the computer. Boy, don't you like that picture, guys? I found this online the other day, a full HD picture of... This is called Alvin Dreaming About Brittany. <laughs> I thought that was really cool. It's funny, though, because I, 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 when they named it that, I'm like, why is he dreaming when he's obviously awake? Unless, unless he's supposedly sleepwalking or something. I don't know. I just thought that was kind of funny. Well... A friend of mine needs my assistance. I just saw the call come through, so I'm going to pause the video for a few minutes, and I'll talk to you guys a little bit later. Woo! All right, tubers. Wow, I really need to adjust that. I'm actually driving mom's car over to the thrift store, so the window's angle is just a little bit different because this is an 03, so I had to bring her down a little bit. Um, I just got a call from a, a friend of mine, and she's having some... Uh, car trouble so I'm going to be picking her up in a few minutes we're going to try to get her to work if at all possible I tell you it's always Murphy's Law it happens at the worst times but uh, luckily she said that uh, they think it's just the starter motor so it's something that, that should be uh, fairly easily fixed first I thought it was the battery now they realize the battery is good so now it's probably much down to the starter motor because whenever she tries to start it uh, every once in a while it'll start but most of the time just kind of goes rrr, rrr kind of like that so the, the motor's probably binding up just just worn out over the years but um yeah i don't mind doing that you know everybody needs help once in a while and uh you know, all you ever need to do is ask and uh, i'll always try to be there as much as i possibly can Ugh, i tell you though i am not looking forward to being outside much today we're already at 84 degrees and climbing and they're saying it's going to get up to about 91 or 92 again with pretty high humidity. I think the humidity factor is going to be over 80%. So it's going to be one sweaty day. You know, though, we've really been blessed this year, I'll be honest with you guys, because most of the time it could get this hot in mid April and it's just gotten uh, up to this heat as of maybe a day or two ago. So mid May, not too bad for around here, you know, considering as far south as we are. The only problem is, at least in this area, this heat can last up till 
I want to say the middle of September usually. So you figure you got June, July, August, September. You got really about four, four and a half months of this kind of heat that's possible. And uh, as Eric Brunhammer said, I'm too fat to, uh, <laughs> or something like that, too fat to handle this heat. I don't know. I just, I'm just being fun. I'm just being funny today. Heat makes me a little giddy sometimes, so you just got to put up with that. <laughs> Oh man, good times, good times. Well, I'm gonna go and pause the video for a few minutes. I'm about to head into the thrift store and uh, not sure what else we're gonna get to do today, but you guys will be along with me. So talk to you in a little bit. All right, Tuber. So while well, I'm waiting for my friend, I uh, thought I'd show you what I picked up at uh, Petco. We want to give LT some different treats because she actually stopped eating those uh, Friskies uh, seafood flavored ones. And I remember a while back, uh, another friend of mine gave me some of these um, treat she really likes. So I went to uh, Petco and they were actually on sale. I was a little impressed. They are feline greenies. The first one here is the uh, dental treat catnip flavor. And the second one here is the greenie smart bites. This one is uh, chicken flavor and this one's for the healthy skin. So basically between the uh, healthy skin and the dental one, hopefully she'll like one or hopefully both of these. So, uh, We'll just have to see. She's getting kind of picky in her older age, but um, I want to make sure she at least eats those because she's still eating dry food and wet food, but not nearly as much as she should be. So I'm going to give those a try. Well, I just got a text from my friend while I was recording this, so I'm going to pause the video, and we'll see what else happens. Talk to you in a little bit. All right, tubers. Well, it's about 2.30. I'm just getting home right now. Uh, I helped my friend out. She needed to pick up some money to get her car fixed, and I dropped her off at work. So, uh, you know, she got in there late. She did wind up going to work today, so that's always a good thing. What I thought we'd do now is I'm going to give a, a try LT. I can't even talk today, guys. I think it's the heat that's getting to me. I'm going to um, give LT some of these greenies treats. I'm going to try the... Uh, this is the one, the chicken flavor one first, see if she'll eat this, but hopefully she will because other than the uh, Meow Mix treats I've been giving her, she really won't eat anything else, so let's see if we can get her to eat some treats. All right, well, that's what these things look like. There's a reason they call them greenies, and she is sitting right here. You want some of these, baby? You want to try some treats? Here we go. We'll see if you'll eat them. You can see she's still sneezing. I don't like that. And then she's getting that discharge in her eye again. Definitely think we might have to bring her back to the vet, but let's see if she actually eats these. Like that? Oh yeah. Well, she does seem to like them, so that's a that's a plus. I'm glad to see her eating these treats. We're going to leave her in peace because she's not that crazy about the camera, even at the best of times. And I will talk to you guys in just a couple All right, minutes. Tuber, so one thing I absolutely forgot to do, and this is my bad, I was going to water mom's plants this morning. Now, it's a little too close to midday for it now, but I want to at least check and make sure I haven't killed these things. So, I don't know, guys. Let's see if they're still alive. All right, well, they actually do look pretty good. These are the ones in the hanging baskets here. Uh, let's check the soil here. Now, well, the soil's dry, but at least the flowers haven't died. I just love this two-tone uh, pink and yellow combo that she did. Let's uh, see how these are doing. This is the second basket. Oh, looks like we got a new bud coming up, too, right there. Uh, these are kind of dying off a little bit. Uh, this is actually still moist. You can see there's still a little bit of moisture, so I don't want to overwater that. So I think we'll go ahead and leave that one alone. But I think what's happening is the sun is not getting there. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this a little bit and uh, let the sun hit the other side of that basket. And then she has the this flower pot here. Now, I was a little concerned because these were doing well, but the buds on this were dying. Actually, the flowers were dying off. And But Mom said as long as... The greenery is doing well, then all you have to do when these die, you just pop them off and feed them to the lawn. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, everything else is, work, is growing well. Looks like it may have a weed growing in here. I'm not exactly sure what that is. I'm going to pull that out real quick because, uh, yeah, that should definitely not have been in there. I'm not worried about throwing them there because we got our uh, lawn guy coming. So, you know what, guys? It's a beautiful day, and it's even more beautiful because I didn't kill mom's plants. 
<laughs> All right, tubers. Well, that's it for today's vlog. Hope you guys are really enjoying this. Please don't forget the 5,000 subscriber giveaway that is still going on. We're inching ever closer to that, but it is taking a while. So once again, make sure you click that subscribe button. And as always, have a blessed day, everybody.